hatched and we got them coming out. With a protector? Out of the doors with a protector. I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him. You're being audio and music recording, you just stop. You gonna run? Grocery stores are continually having to deal with more and more shoplifters. And it seems like these shoplifters are getting braver by the day. Since Target is one of the biggest and most successful stores in the States, shoplifters get busted there all the time. It always feels satisfying when entitled Target shoplifters get humbled by cops. So get comfy as we take a look at some of the best cases where cops totally catch unsuspecting shoplifters. Our countdown kicks off strong with a repeat shoplifter who tried his luck one too many times. It was the 7th of June, 2021, when the Gloucester Township Police were called to the scene of a local Target where Robert Joyner III was attempting to take off with a stash of stolen merchandise. Things go very wrong right at the start. Come here, boss. Come here. Ah! Ah! Mail's rolling. Torch check the light. Rob just barely made his escape from the first officer who tried to corner him, but he did lose his backpack while making a run for it. The backpack was filled with roughly $500 worth of stolen electronics. The officer sustained a minor injury from this standoff, but thankfully, it wasn't severe enough to stop him from pursuing the suspect. And rest assured, Rob would not get very far. Rob, Rob, give me your other hand. Got it. Rob, chill. Stop, Rob. Rob, chill. Stop, Rob. Rob is now firmly detained, and the officers can take a breath of relief, but this surely won't be the end of the difficulties he'd give to the cops. The officers could now figure out the extent of his haul, and soon, a concerned citizen would show up on the scene. You seen him chasing him? Nah, is he tapping you up there? Not me. Tap him when your officer's up there. Really, Rob? What's wrong with you, dude? Finally, buddy. Come on, man. You know the game by now, right? Hold on a minute. Hey, a pair of pants you got on. Rob, stop. I'm not doing nothing. Stop moving. Just sit there and relax. It comes as no surprise that Rob isn't being the most cooperative suspect out there, but the true shocking nature of his crimes would become clear very soon. First, we take a look at the situation from a different perspective. Well, I got to run today, man. It's hot. It's hot today. What are you running for? You ran from me. Don't you got your ID on you so I can take that nice and easy? Uh, I uh, don't actually have an ID on me. Don't worry about it. What's your first name, man? Uh, Chris, I, I didn't see anything. I'm right. I just seen him tackle the officer. Okay. And to be honest with you, with everything that's going on in this world, that pissed me off royally. Uh, so I, I, I didn't want to well. see it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to see him get away with it. I'm right. Because you guys are out here to protect us, and everybody's giving you all and it's wrong. We appreciate that. It's wrong. I was coming out, right? Uh-huh. And it was about halfway through the, the parking lot. Yeah. You're coming out of the load? Or yeah. And then I heard, I, I seen the, the police officer light, you know, light his lights up. And then I heard, stop. And then he took off after the guy, and the guy grabbed the hold of him and threw him down on the ground. And then that's whenever he, he didn't see me. So I tried to catch him, but, man, that dude was fast. The helpful citizen saw the initial encounter with the officer and the suspect and tried to chase after the shoplifter himself, hoping the fleeing suspect would think he's an undercover cop. Unfortunately, he was way too fast. Before the cops deal with his stolen stash, it's important to note that the suspect was already banned from Target for 15 previous shoplifting offenses, with the grand total of these adding up to a whopping $22,600. Hey, Rich, you just dump it on my heart right now. I just want to I gotta grab pictures and stuff of it real quick, alright? Okay, what do you think? Um, he had... Well, they did. Conceal this stuff. The beach stuff. Yeah, that's his own personal Okay. So you just dumped it all in here. 
Is this your bag too? Yeah. 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 We're good, Doug. Seeing the stolen stash laid out like this is quite crazy. And while it's ridiculous that he managed to stuff all this in his bag, it's even more unbelievable that he thought he had any chance of getting away. By now, his shoplifting offenses have racked up substantially, and he's probably looking at some serious charges. So, uh, no, can you get me a price for all that stuff? Yeah. Thanks. No, I try, I, we just... What do we got going on? Just he uh he picked up the bag and sealed all the stuff that's on the hood. He made it to like Lowe's when I was pulling up. I went to stop. I literally pulled right in front of him at Lowe's. I got out. I said, "Yo, come here." And then, but other than that, situation's under control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have you have you know He's construction resistant by flight. Resistant by flight. Yeah. Okay. I'm here at Allen. Yeah, thanks. Nobody's hurt. Everybody's good. Yeah, no. Cause he, I, I grabbed his backpack over there, and when I grabbed it. He, he just like pulled my whole weight and I went and I fell and then I got back up. I grabbed their stuff and I just got in my car and went after him. Okay. Some guy chased him across the parking lot. Some random guy who saw me chasing him. <laughs> you got his info, right? Yeah, I got How many people, just you two are fine here? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go back out to this other thing on my street. Make it yeah, yeah, you're good, sir. The story was quickly relayed to the sergeant, who in turn took note of everything that happened. But the sergeant now needed to go to another scene, leaving the police officers to deal with the suspect. And man, there would be a lot to deal with. What's your ultimate? Too tight, my man? Yeah. You gonna be cool? Yeah. Uh, lean up for me. I'll, I'll roll the window down for you too, all right, bud? You want an ambulance or anything? Yeah. For what? The cuts? I'll get them to meet us at the police station, okay? So they can clean you up. All right, my man. Can you lean, turn your body this way for me? There you go. Uh, 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 uh. I got. Hold on, relax. What I got you? A little, a little put them in the front, man. Yeah, I can't put them in the front. Ah, they're too tight. They're not tight. They is. I can't leave them. Uh. Oh, oh. Well, here. We'll flip this one around. All right. Don't do nothing stupid. All right. Uh. Here, take your hand up. Turn that way. Turn that way. I'll clean your hand up. Don't worry. Turn this way for me. Here, now give me your hand back. Straight back. I, I, my arm might be broke, man. It's not broken. It, it's hard to move. Okay, turn it back. Naturally, the suspect tried the good old trick of pretending he was hurt. The cop clearly wasn't buying the nonsense story of his arm being broken, and this makes the suspect pull out all the stops. Let's see what happens next. Listen to me. I cannot put him in the front. So uh, turn around. Uh, and I'm going to work with you, man. It's hot as. I know it's hot as. Red. We won't be doing this. I'm telling. Hold on, hold on. Let go of that for me. I'm not letting go of anything. You're out of your mind. Oh, I'm not. I don't want man. My oh, man. It's hard for me to move my arm. No, no, no. Uh-uh. It Turn, is. Put I'm your not arm down. I'm put, not bull****ing me. Put your can arm you, down. Can you look at my wrist? Your wrist is what I can see. It's it. not. It's swollen. Look. It's not that swollen. It is. I look. look at my vein. Okay, I told you. I'll take care of it. When we get to the police station. I will get an ambulance to use there. Can you look at my other arm? I can see your other arm. It, lo it looks fine. It looks just like that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. It's hot as Five, can you come back out here for a minute? I got no air, man. I know. I'm going to roll the window down. But you need to turn around. I'm going to turn around. Hold up, man. You got to let me breathe. You need to let me breathe. You shouldn't have ran, and then we wouldn't have this problem. The officer has a good point, and the suspect only has himself to blame for his uncomfortable situation. He definitely knew how hot it was before he started running, and playing the victim now is completely useless. Hold on, my man. I can't breathe. You, you said that because you breathe with you out in the air. Yeah, in the air. Breathe. The door's open. Water, man. I can't give you water. You can tell them to give me water. No, I can't. They, they're not I can't give... breathe. That's part of your job, man. I Listen can't to me. breathe. You can breathe. No, I can't. What's wrong? I'm home? telling you, my, I can't breathe. And you're not listening. I am listening. No, you're not. I can't breathe. Why can't you breathe? Because it's too hot. Yes, it's hot. I understand that. I'm hot, too. Okay, but you don't know if I can breathe or not. You, you're not in my body. I can't breathe. I'm telling you, I can't breathe. What kind of it's respiratory serious. difficulty are you having? I can't breathe. All right, well then put your hand behind your back. I'll get you an ambulance. Turn around. Okay. Turn around. Okay. Go that way. Turn your whole body that way. The suspect continues on with the I can't breathe line. And while the cop knows this guy's faking it, he doesn't really have any choice but to request for medical intervention. It can be annoying for the cops when suspects try to play the victim when they're so clearly in the wrong. Can you show me a BLS unit, the male's complaining of respiratory difficulty? 
One Charlie one, are you able to stop back there? Just until the ambulance clears up. They got you in the ambulance, alright, bud? What kind of respiratory problems are you having, bud? Well, well, that's not a respiratory problem. It's two, you, you had a store water. You tell them to give me some water. You just stole from them. They are not going to give you anything for free. It don't matter. You're an officer. You can give me water. Uh, yeah, when we get to... That's your job. I advised you when we got to the police station, I was going to give you water. You can't wait. That's your job, man. It is my job, and I'm giving yeah, you the proper so, medical care. So if somebody died on the ride to the hospital, it's your fault. You You're not going to die. You don't in my that. police, I that's guarantee you, you will not die. You don't. I can't breathe. Well, I told you I got your name. It's because you're complaining of respiratory difficulty, not of dehydration. Dehydration is a totally separate issue. It's, everything's included, man. No, it's not. It is too. You, um, you, need, you need water to breathe. And I'm a medical professional, and I know that's not the case. It's pretty rich that this guy demands water from the store where he just stole some serious merchandise from. But thankfully, the cop is a medical professional too, so he knows exactly what to do. The stupidity of claiming that breathing issues and dehydration are the same thing is mind-blowing though. Whenever you go back in, just... Thanks. Yo, that's mine, I had that They're before. not yours. Yes, yeah, I had that before I went to store. That's my bag. I had that bag before I went to store. Don't start talking to me stuff that I already had, man. Then why are they still sealed? It, it don't matter. And man, I bought that already. When? You don't have me on camera still in that, Yes, man. they do. No, you don't. Well, we're going to find out in a minute. Because he's pulling the video now, sir. So. Okay, that's not on the video. That's, that's how you get before. You're trying to charge me with stuff that I already had, man. No, I'm not. That's small. I am not. I'm not that bad. You seem like you're doing just fine to me, Rob. Did you know that stealing things from a different store doesn't make them yours? Well... Rob clearly doesn't, and even though he's in some serious trouble already, it doesn't seem likely that he'll be changing his ways anytime soon. He was charged with resisting by flight in the fourth degree, third degree possession of CDS, and criminal trespass. It doesn't necessarily take two to shoplift, but sometimes criminals think it gives them better odds of getting away. Two women were being watched by security, hiding things in their bags, blissfully unaware that the Target store knew what they were up to. After they had passed all points of sale, the cops were waiting and ready to apprehend them. Right here. Hey, how you feeling, lady? Any cops for this stuff I didn't see? Yeah. I thought we were here. You guys have a receipt for this? Yes, please. Some squads, that's two items, three items. All right. Oh, don't oh, you made it from out the one? Yeah. Hey, which bag was it? Just the bag right there? Yeah, the beige one. Right, is there anything in that bag? We should know if we need merchandise in that bag? Yes or no? When? After one. Is it your bag? Yeah, no. Is it your bag? This your bag. This is your bag right there. Nope. It's not whose bag is it? Okay. We're not playing this game. The women were too stunned to speak at first, but playing dumb was not fooling the cops whatsoever. A good tip is that once you've been caught, the best thing to do is to just give up the act and own up to it. Believe it or not, this will actually help quite a bit when you're being charged for your crimes. Wait, that, I, I, mean, put, I, I, I said put your hands behind your put handcuffs on her. Okay. Yeah. Are you familiar? Yes. Put your hands behind your back now. Right. Put your hands behind your back. What the f Let go of the phone. Let go of the phone. We're going to do video. Switch your arm for it won't hurt you, alright? I don't want it to hurt you. Just there you go. I'll get you a uh, receipt. Yeah, can I get it? I got you. I paid for that stuff. We'll we paid for that. Okay. We'll stuff. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll figure out what you paid for. When the women realized they were about to be placed in handcuffs, they resisted a bit. But thankfully, it wasn't enough to cause a major struggle with the officers. Little did the cops know just how much trouble the woman in the denim jacket would give them in just a bit. Can I come around? No. How are you? All right, then there. How are they? Yeah, they're okay. Hey, for the All right, I'll be right back. I'll get you guys a receipt. Give me a second. Can we just pay for the stuff? Can we pay for it? No. I didn't just pay for it five minutes ago. 
Yeah, and then we asked you, and you didn't want to tell us. No, and we were about it. And the heat of the said, You said it already. Like, what? Are, the heat of the moment. But. There's only a couple items we pay for everything else. We won't come back here. The trespasses. Well, that's definitely gonna happen, and then he's gonna go see what's not paid for. And then go it's just the stuff in the bag. It's just the stuff in the bag. We pay for everything else. Who's the bag? It's our bag. It's our bag. Both of us. We don't know why these grown adults always ask for their parents when they get into trouble. And if you ask us, it's time to learn some accountability. As it turns out, one of the women had already been trespassed from Target. Somebody needs to teach her that offering to pay for things after you've stolen them is pointless. What's gonna happen? Why is that thing was even over 20 bucks? Literally, get out of the door. You can't pay for the store. All right, she's gonna patch it down. We'll explain to you when we figure everything out, okay? Okay. I still have the pat down then. Do you have any more anywhere else? Mm -mm. During the body search, the officer would find a small bag in the woman's pocket that would later test positive for. So seemingly, these two had landed themselves in more hot water. How much is it? How much are that? $126. $100? $126. What is it? What, what was it? Oh, my bad. You got all the stuff you grabbed. It and was I only a toy. It was only a... That's Target's thing. expensive. That's that's why it's right, $126. Can you see the receipt? All right, come on. What We're going to go in the car. You can see it. Seriously, y'all are expensive. <laughs> yes. Trust me. I, I walk in and I walk out with like $300. I'm like, I just need a piece of paper. Yeah, that's what like, literally. Have a seat. You have a seat. You can call when you get when you get into jail, okay? All right. A picture of what? Got the camera. Are you? You're not taking a picture of me. Yes, you can. No, the f you ain't. For what? Hey, bro, don't grab me. Man, no, you, want, you want to get another chart? You want another chart? But you don't have to let him take a picture of me. I'm asking you to step out. No, that's what yes. the mug shot is for. Step out. I'm not. Step out. You want another chart? They don't let him take a picture out, of me so. without no, my permission. You want another chart? Out, Here's another pro tip. Maybe remember to check the actual value of what you're stealing before you commit a crime so you don't get caught unawares by the total like these two. The woman vehemently refuses her picture being taken, but doesn't realize that this is a standard part of any crime processing. She sure is committing a lot of crimes, huh? A felony for what? I don't want him to take a picture of me. That's not legal for him to take a picture of me. Ma'am, it is, it is. Step out the vehicle. You're just gonna make things worse for you. Stay, take out the vehicle. I don't want a picture taken. Just take her. I don't want a picture taken. Like take why? Ma'am. Ow! Ah. Look up. So. Look up. Okay. Okay. Appreciate you. Have a seat. No pushing. If the woman isn't careful, she might end up getting herself a felony charge as well. All this over not wanting to have a picture taken. I wonder how she'll react when she realizes she's been filmed by multiple body cameras this whole time. I'm, I'm telling you, it's okay. tight as hell. So how do you want me to fix them? How am I going to push up if they're already tight? You guys tighten me up when I was standing right there. Get out of the car. I can't move. I need help. It's tight. Listen, like, really tight. We're asking you to do it on your own. I need course. help. I'm telling you, it's Sweet hard. Your body this way. I cannot move this part. That works. Come on. That's Come on the fuck I asked you to do it first time. Come on out. You should have just did that. I slung the leg over the first time. I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Yeah, gonna, I don't care. You're going to take the jacket off. That's fine. Okay. You take it off. You can do anything else. You're a nice woman. <laughs> Even the cops can't help but laugh at this woman's totally absurd behavior. But to be honest, these cops are just trying to do their jobs. And swearing and cursing at them because you've been caught creates a pretty bad image of you as a person. What a drama queen. Both suspects were charged with petty theft, and the first woman was charged with <laughs> possession too. If there's one thing we've learned, it's that there's no age limit for criminal behavior. And sometimes, even the most innocent looking old ladies can be shoplifters in disguise. This brings us to a recent case in Flagler County where cops were called to Target to bust the most unlikely shoplifter. 
an old granny who no one would ever suspect. Excuse me, ma'am. I didn't know what it was. I wanted to be sure, and I paid for it here for you. Okay. We're going to ask you a few questions, okay? But before we do, I'm just going to read you your Miranda rights. All right. Before we ask you some questions, I'm just going to read you your Miranda rights, okay? Yeah, I've been in trouble before with you. You have the right to remain silent, and anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her with you now or any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. After being read her Miranda rights, one crucial detail becomes very clear. This is not the first time the woman was in legal trouble. This definitely changes our perspective on the case a bit. And now the details will start unfolding. And what brings you back here? I did what I had to do when I like shopping here. Okay, were you explaining the trespass warning? I called and they said it was okay. Call who? Whoever is responsible. A long time ago. Okay. When were you trespassed? It's been a few years. Do you have anything on paper that says your trespass has been lifted? No. Any kind of documentation to prove that your trespass was lifted? No. I called though. Did you steal anything today? Say again? Did you steal anything today? No. Did you open any packages yes. today? Which one? I, that one? Yes. Did you open any other packages? And that. Okay. Yeah. Where are the other rings that are in it? The earrings that are missing. Have a big No. Not yes, that I know of, unless it fell out. Did you take anything from these packages? No. I just opened that one to be sure of what it was because I wasn't sure. And I told her before I paid for it. Okay. So we're not going to find the missing earrings in your pockets or anything? No, purse. there's not earrings. They're, they're stick-on things. The old woman's claims that she'd arranged with staff to come back doesn't hold much weight, and the cops quickly figure out that she has an active trespassing ban against her. This, paired with the fact that she was suspected of shoplifting, ensured this situation was double trouble. I didn't know. I didn't know. It still has the, the white markings on it. Yeah. We know the answers to. We're hoping to be honest with us here because this is not the first time we've dealt with you. I know that. So then, what? We're not trying to pull your bag or pull any tricks on you. I did put it back. In your purse. You put it in your purse, no. man. And then you did not pay for those items and you walked past the final points of sale out to the parking lot. I wasn't buying that. I bought the other one. April 23rd of 2021, you're issued a trespass warning notifying you that you are no longer welcome on to this property. Okay, do you remember this? Not that I wasn't welcome here. After okay. I, I went and- Did the deputy explain my... what this is? You were issued a piece of paper. It looked just like this, but it was a pink copy. The deputy explained that you're no longer allowed on this property. Acting dumb wasn't going to get her very far, since she can't argue with the official police-issued trespass warning she'd received. To be honest, she'd most likely forgotten about this entirely. And you have to get full documentation proving that you are allowed to come back here and that this trespass warning has been lifted. I have to have it in writing? Yes, ma'am. And you have to have signatures from the target themselves. Okay. Okay. And. Also, like he was saying, we have you in person and on camera opening up this package and collecting two items out of this, the earrings, and putting them into your purse. It okay. It couldn't be in the purse. Okay. I know I brought it on the floor and I put it back. These earrings have these little white things that come in. On the floor. That secure them in this package. This, this earring still has the. This one came out of your purse. 
outside. We're just trying to have like you be truthful to us. I am okay. being truthful. I didn't okay. know I should have that. Took it. I had no idea. As it turns out, the woman thought that her clever plan of opening various packages and buying one of them would fool the store into not realizing she'd stuffed earrings into her purse. It was a good attempt, but as all shoplifters realize, you can't fool Target or the cops that easily. We located the, uh, the other earring on the floor. Do you guys want to pursue charges on the trespassing? On the, yeah. Okay, do you guys want to pursue charges on the the one earring that was removed from the box? Two. Yeah. Two? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Awesome. Two here. Okay. Well, unfortunately, today we're going to prosecute for the theft. I just turned 80 years old. My husband is 85. I don't very forget. Uh, yeah, I apologize for that. I mean, we've had children in here as young as 10 years old. I know. I don't, I don't really discriminate when it comes to child care. People come in all shapes but and sizes. But I didn't do anything. What do you mean? Pull it out of your purse. I didn't put it in there. It well, might have fallen in there, but the I beauty, didn't put it. The beauty of America. I did drop it. Listen, listen. The beauty of America is that there will be your time in court. That time in court. This is not a courtroom. There's nothing quite as satisfying as when shoplifters get a true taste of American justice. And while this lady tried in vain to defend herself, for that, she'd have to go in front of a judge. After all, one of the stolen earrings was found in her possession. Can I do anything? No. Can you let me come to work here or something? Can I let and I'll you? Work I will. I used to be in sales. I used to the be in the medical field. The store is not going to let you come work here. Not, but I didn't steal it. This isn't, Time for, thank you. this isn't the good old days where you worked off your juvenile action how I did. No. You know, I, never, I didn't steal when I was younger. You're a grown adult. <laughs> this is what happens to grown adults that commit crimes. I didn't commit the crime. It's been a while since we've seen someone asking if they can work to make up for committing theft. And while the sentiment was there, this is definitely not how it works. And stuff like this only happens in movies. Which, which car did you use? I don't want to go to jail, please. Yeah, we're not going to go back and forth. Which car did you use to pay for the items? The, uh, the, the Target car, I believe. This one? Yes. Okay. Is there a pin number to go along with that? Yes. Let's go do a return and register. You're going to take all of it? Come on. When she learned she'd have to do a return for all the items she did buy, the lady wasn't too happy. But what are you going to do? You can't take your groceries to jail with you, can you? At the register, the cashier realized that her bananas weren't scanned either. We're going back in the same room. in my purse. Man, this is going back in your wallet, okay? Yes. You really have to do this? Yes, ma'am. I have that protection. I do. We had a close friend up in New York and in the shopping center that was near our home. There was a knife slasher that was slashed more than slaves underneath the cars. After searching her purse, the cops made another jarring discovery, which we can likely assume was a firearm. She then tells some horror story about a knife slasher, but how true this is is definitely up for debate. Still, Yikes. And I'm not allowed to come back. No more. I'm... That's what you were told in 2021? Yes, I'm allowed. That you're not allowed. That even means oh, the parking mean, lot in I front called, of Target as well. Okay. I called and spoke to someone here. Okay, but we have and no I proof to it, we I, have no proof to confirm that. I didn't know. I don't know anything about that. My husband is 
for doing most of the stuff in here. Yeah. We can empathize with the woman being sad about not being able to shop at what was probably her favorite local store anymore. But here's a thought. If you find a store you really like shopping at, maybe don't steal from it. I didn't know. I really didn't know. I called after, way after. It's been quite a while. And, and the person I spoke to uh, said that it would be okay to come back because I went on sure. probation. Sure. Mm -hmm. Can I get your driver's license real quick? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to confirm. All right. You just put your right hand up and yeah. state your full name? Yep, William O'Leary. Do you swear from that this is the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right, you can go ahead and sign. Yeah. Might you sign this one too? Uh, yes, please. Okay. I see how you sign it. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I never know what the English. With all that being said and done, the officers conclude the shoplifting case and get the witness statements. Thankfully, this was a very easy bust and didn't cause the cops to break a sweat. But it does leave one to wonder if certain people will ever grow up and be mature, law-abiding citizens. The lady is carefully placed in handcuffs and then into the police car. And this brings the surprising, yet thankfully undramatic shoplifting case to an end. What do you think? Was she truly suffering from old age forgetfulness? Or is she a clever shoplifter using her age as an excuse? The woman's charges have not yet been made public. Shoplifting is one thing, but dragging innocent minors into your crimes? That's something entirely different. And when officers were called to the local target for suspected shoplifting, the situation was much worse than they could have imagined. Okay. Just they were with me. Yes. Okay, well, they're accusing you guys of shoplifting, so can we head back inside, or do I need to just start putting people in cuffs out here? No, 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 no. no. Okay. You guys, you included. My baby. You don't. Nope, everybody inside. No, sorry, baby girl. Okay. So is there a reason why they would be accusing you guys of shoplifting? That, 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 that they, was their story. Okay. So just so have I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I appreciate it. Yep. It doesn't take much to convince the group of shoplifters to turn around and head back into the store. And the cops' no-nonsense attitude definitely gave them a bit of a scare. Stealing essentials for your child can be looked at with a bit more leniency, but this woman was using the miners to steal carts worth of junk food, such as chips, cookies, and sodas. How old are you guys? They're miners. They're all miners? Yes. Okay. Mom, I'm not talking to these cops. Okay. I don't want to get any more junk food. I'm already in. It's okay, then. <laughs> Do you guys, while everybody's here, I'm going to read this to you guys. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. And you have the right to have an attorney present now at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be appointed for you without cost. If you talk to me, you have the right to stop answering questions or speak to an attorney at any time. Do you understand each of these rights? I need to have a verbal yes or no from each one of you. Ma'am? Yes. Yes? Camo, yes or no? Do you understand <laughs> yours? Do you know these, understand your rights? Yes. Hollister, yes. Ma'am, yes. Are you willing to talk with me? Yes or no? Yeah. This would actually be the second time this day that the mom and her gang would hit this store. Talk about pushing your luck. After being read their rights, most of them agreed to talk, which would hopefully speed up the investigation and ensure that it isn't too much of a headache for the officers. Do you guys have IDs on you? I'm 16. Okay. Thank you. you said you've been in trouble with court, Seminole County, Orange, Orange Volusia, County. Brevard. Orange. Orange. Are you guys out on probation, parole? Probation, what for? Fighting. Fighting? Fighting. Yeah. If you guys want to follow the um, LP into the office. Are they yours? Are they your kids? Sorry. Oh, yeah, just give me one second here. 
So they're not your kids? Whose kids are they? No, I just... Um, that driver and that car's kids? Huh? Are they the driver and that car's uh, no. kids? One of them is. So yeah, that's her, her friends. Her friends? Okay. Here's where it gets interesting. The kids aren't even all hers. The baby obviously is, and the other kids are friends with her child. Dragging someone else's kids into crime seems even worse. And even at this tender age, this wasn't the youngster's first run-in with the law either. First, the officers had to touch base with the person waiting in the parking lot for this group. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. Do you mind talking to me for a second? Let me call you back in a minute, Caitlin. Hey, are you waiting on anybody in the store? Yes, I just seen. I, okay. I, she had. I gave her money earlier today. Yeah. And I gave her. She has her food card. Okay. So I thought, you know, that she was going in. She says I need help because I can't put all yeah. the drinks with the kids. Okay. Cause I get over a thousand dollars food stamps. Yeah. So and then she gets her food stamps. She gets like four or five hundred too. So mm -hmm. I thought with that, and then I pay her because she stays with me. Who, you know, who is she to you? Family to me. I mean, like I took Baby, her. You guys home. are like friends, cohabitants. Yeah. Now um, do you have an idea on you? What makes this entire shoplifting offense so much crazier is that the suspect was actually on food stamps as well. So there's really no reason why shoplifting would be necessary or justified. Granted, from the woman in the car's statement, they are going through some rough times, but they're definitely not going hungry. You guys are going to start on the total on what was taken? I can, I can have somebody start though. Yes, please. Yes. Can I go pee? Can I go pee? No. Hey, can I request a crim hist on the adult female? Um, 65 in proc. One second, I'm going to step out. He's using kid three, signal 43s to steal items. All right. All uh, right. There's another issue. There's a newborn baby here as well. So, yeah. The baby's stroller was also full of stolen stuff, but quite obviously, the baby could not be held accountable for those. Either way, the baby's presence had to be noted by the police officers. Can you believe that the woman with the youngsters in tow managed to make it out of the store with over $1,300 in junk food? And this wasn't even her first hit. So, who knows how many calories she'd gotten away with? Do you have any open cases on her that you know of? I do. Okay. Okay. Did you file that already? I have not filed this one yet. Okay. Um, two days ago, three days ago. Two or three days ago? Okay. All right. Um, give this, we got a lot of paperwork here, yep. but um, if you can just kind of pull that one up and kind of have it ready. Okay. Yeah, if, if you're not doing anything. Well, else. file on two separate, and you want me to use this one, correct? Right? Yeah, yeah, exact same thing. Okay. And um, Will they fall together if they're so close together? They're separate. Okay. They're separate cases. Got it. Because it's two separate instances. Uh, yep. So, um, do that. We got a lot of paperwork. And um, we're but just uh, whenever you finish that stuff up, just try to pull up that other case. Yep. And then we'll, uh, we'll yeah. go with that. Hey, this is from the Do you care if she watches it? Um, not okay. that benefit you guys. Do you do what are you talking about? Yeah, because I, I just I don't want to give her a chance. So. I, I can even just take a photo if you want. Yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah. Now that everyone was detained, it was time to get to the bottom of what this woman stole. And the Target employee, along with the officer, were getting right to it. She probably thought that she'd already gotten away with her previous thefts at the store. But she had another thing coming. Who all did you come with to Target? Just me and the baby, and then she was driving. So there's no no kid. Uh, I walked in with me and the baby. Well, let's, like, she's let's, the kid, let's, so. let's, let's back up. Okay. So who all came to the In the car? Yes. Her and her kids. And then me and my kids. So right here? Okay, so let's So it would have been a girl, not a boy. Okay, so she she brought the two kids that were here. <laughs> they were with us, yes, but they didn't come in the store. Okay. And then you brought the baby? I came in with the baby, yes. So, so who is this kid? That's what I'm saying. I don't know who he is. Not even who's me. From what they're saying, there's stuff in here. I'm gonna get told for something that well, didn't pertain to me. No, 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 no. I take blame for what I do, do what I did. This woman had come into Target multiple times, using various different kids as spies and junk food mules. And while we'll learn more about this shortly, it's already incredibly hard to keep track of who everyone is. This was probably part of her plan all along. I mean, I can't see say what day was day, I don't okay. know. So you've been at Target three times? Yes. Um, including today? Yes, Okay. this makes day three. Did you steal all the times? 
the first time or whatever, the, the witches of the ninth is what I was talking about. I was just in here yesterday. I didn't steal yesterday either. Okay, you didn't steal yesterday. So, so today I stole. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get that. We're, so, you know, I mean, in the day that I got the baby formula, I paid for the formula. So, and I did pay for her diapers and wipes or her cookies. On the ninth. I don't know if that's not, if it was the on, on, on the on the first time you came in the store. Yes, I paid for the the, the photo I showed you. You know what? The, yeah, one, the yeah, photo I showed my you. Gray shirt, my gray shirt. Yeah. So that that's the first time you came in the store, right? That's what we're talking about. I mean, about. he's saying it's the ninth, so I don't know. The ninth is in the date. The ninth is the date. It's not the ninth time you've been here. Oh. Yeah. No. 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 Like. Like, so, like today is the fourteenth. Right. It's the fourteenth. I was in here yesterday, so when, and I was in here prior to that. This is you, right? Yes. Okay, so you... And I have wipes on the bottom. The woman was caught on video camera in the store twice before, and while she half-heartedly tries to argue that this is her first time stealing, she quickly gives up the act. Soon she'll start divulging more and more details of her shoplifting modus operandi, and we sure do hope that the embarrassment of her situation might bring her back to reality a bit. And it was a female that was with me, is what I'm saying. It's not the, a boy, the, it a is a girl. Who is this, though? A girl named Jessica, just some random girl from the area over there. Okay. I just how, had her how old is Jessica? 14, 13. Okay. She just came with me, that was it. Okay. Did she know she was stealing? She doesn't know anything. We went in here, I got the stuff and I, she met me at the um, Starbucks. Okay. Um, what is uh, Jessica's last name? Do you know? I have no clue. How, how do you guys know each other? I just, I, she runs around with some of the little kids out there. Okay. Right, the baby said that, that's it. Okay. Um, so I mean, like Orlando area? Did, did, did she know she was stealing stuff? No. She, okay. she didn't know anything. Because we, we don't want her to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. She didn't know anything. I so mean, you, you, whatever you, I took that day, I took that day. I mean, I'm okay. not looking to get did, somebody in trouble. I understand that. Did looking. you either direct her to or did you put merchandise in her cart? I heard picked everything up, as far as I remember. It's starting to sound more and more like the woman just goes around gathering hood kids to be a part of her shoplifting plans. Do you think she's done this at other stores too? Thankfully, she takes the blame, but surely this has got to be a whole other level of illegal. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Salad Port's already done. It's done? Oh, no, no, yeah. so. Um, and then... Crocodile tears definitely don't work on the cops. And the woman is finally placed in handcuffs and put in the police car. It wasn't even a month after the woman was released that she stole another stash of snacks from a different store. Talk about a detrimental snack obsession. The woman was charged with grand theft and received five months probation. Our next story takes place in Clearwater, Florida, where another repeat shoplifter was spotted in the act. Buckle up, folks. This woman is definitely gonna have you slapping your forehead in frustration. Police were called to the local target by the store's asset protection. What ensues next is her encounter with the police after being caught. Have you ever been arrested before? It's been a while. How long was the walk? Like, um, here, 10 years. Okay. Let me figure out of here. Uh, you're, you're fine. So you you I... pass off what you said and everything? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Can you stand up and put your hands behind your back? I thought they were going to arrest me. That's it. You. It's that way. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks. I don't know you You might. I don't know yet. <laughs> Gotta see if you qualify for a lot of different things. Hey, lift your hands back up. Sorry, I don't want to bend your wrist because this hurts. Have a seat, please. You might not. I'm not bullshitting you. I gotta see if you qualify for, uh, for diversion stuff. For everyone's safety, the officer wastes no time in getting the woman in handcuffs. But right from the start, she seems pretty indignant and offended. As it would turn out, the woman actually has a string of shoplifting convictions to her name and one charge for jaywalking, so she's no stranger to this process. It's illegal, but not. They are trespassing on my house. They what? <laughs> I was on probation up there and yeah. they trespassed me. From Ohio? Yeah. They the entire were... state? Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, they did. They, won't let, they didn't arrest me for my warrant. They said we can't because they won't come get you. That's funny. What's your uh, phone number, Brittany? And you have nothing with your name on it in your, no, your purse? No. Okay. Um, I have nothing on here. Yeah, no worries. But I was really ready to go to jail, and it was like, well, 
Well, and I didn't do anything wrong, but I got second all because it's um, it was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I was going over there getting something to eat. Yeah. And well, hold on. Before you, you want to start talking because you're under arrest right now. Oh. Um, let me read you your rights. Yeah. Your rights. We can't imagine what you've done to get banned from the entire state of Ohio. This coming from a state where it's illegal to catch mice without a hunting license. And it's illegal to sell cornflakes on a Sunday. But never mind, this is an entirely different issue altogether. So they're not seeing you walking, like not on the crosswalk, so they stopped. Oh, you're talking about the jaywalking thing? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought it was. Was that today? Oh, it was like two days ago. Oh, okay. yeah, my sister, I was down to my sister's house. She got me on her baby. Yeah. For six months now. Okay. So, yeah. All right, fin finish jaywalking. They, they, anyway, they stopped me and they were in my name and they were like, you know anything about Ohio? I said, yeah, I'm on probation out there. But I called, I came down here to the probation office yeah. to um, get a transfer, but they said it would take three to four months for it to kick in. Mm -hmm. Like, it's called um, compact, it's called something like that. Okay. Then they said that I had a warrant up there and then just not to go up there. Mm -hmm. That's not true, because I've already been to the probation office here. I'll see if you got one. For some reason, the woman feels the need to go into detail about her jaywalking charge. And though it's quite irrelevant at this moment, it does help to paint a much clearer picture of the woman, who clearly has no regard for the order of the law. It's a Kentucky driver. Code 5 by name, please. Tiffle, if you get any return on that name, can you also do a criminal history check for uh, any theft convictions? Do you have any questions right now? Mm -hmm. so, have you ever been? Have you ever heard of APAD? No. All right, so you'll probably qualify for that. Have you been arrested within the last three years? Not yet, no. Where have you been arrested before? Uh, within the last three years? I think I've been like, no, four. I don't know. What was it for? Theft. Okay, how many theft One. convictions do you have? I had a few from back in the day. I haven't stolen in a long time. Good. Yeah. Like 10 years. Besides that, one time in Ohio. Ohio, sorry. Yeah, I haven't so long. Sorry. It's been at least 10 years since I've Well, it's, uh... The frequency of the woman's crimes make it unlikely that she'll qualify for any of the programs the cop mentioned. How can you sleep well at night knowing that you have a rap sheet longer than most people's resumes? This woman clearly knows, since she doesn't look like she's had any sleepless nights. Third and above, so... Third and above. Your third one and up is automatic felony. You could steal a pack of gum worth 25 cents and you're gonna get charged with a felony mm -hmm. if you have two priors. Hi. I'm assuming they're gonna tell me about your warrant out of Ohio that's not gonna actually. Yeah, they told me about it. At the mention of a possible felony charge, the woman goes wide eyed. And what's going through her head is that she clearly didn't think her crimes would actually get her in such serious trouble. Good luck getting that off your record. Yeah, I'm just trying to know my rights. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, you may know your rights, but that's no, not like, what the statute you, says. Like, say somebody stole something 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just needs convictions. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. Because I really have not stolen anything in like 10 years. Yeah. Well, hook your hand with her. Yeah. The car's loaded, too. Like what? There's like her car, two full bags of stolen stuff on the front. See from this store? No, but I don't know where it's from. But like one's filled with makeup. Where's her car? Uh, handicap spot, right? Outside. Will you walk him to the car? I can. Yeah. Actually, do you mind hanging out with her? I'll just that way. I'll just keep everything under my name. We're gonna go outside. Can you hang out with her? Yeah. Thanks. Most likely, yeah. See it from the front. Just the the red car. Yeah, the red car. Yeah. Nobody's with her, right? No. No, no it's just her. The red one? Yep. Of course she parks in handy. I'll, oh, I'll take it that. There are very few things as annoying as criminals who misunderstand their rights and try to be obnoxiously persistent on them. Some cops should honestly win medals for their outstanding patience levels. But thankfully, one cop would have a bit of a break from her while going out front and checking her car. And that's filled with merchandise as well. I think she parked in handicap last time too. Oh my God. <laughs> well, she literally just stole from us uh, yesterday. Do you guys wait? We, like just figured it out. I think like today I was gonna be the one to identify everything. But she said that she still had all the stuff and that she could bring the stuff back. Is uh, are you guys gonna prosecute for the yesterday and the weeks ago? 
we weren't. Because we can do it all now. We were going to get the stuff back, so that's, you can ask like my manager. We'll see. I don't know about that stuff. She wasn't exactly truthful about uh Yeah, she's got a bunch of uh, <laughs> the thefts out of Ohio, so I doubt you're going to get anything back. Yeah. How incredibly dumb must you be to come back to the same store two days in a row while the employees already called you out? She even parks in the handicap spot. And the more we learn about this woman, the more she's starting to tick us off. Are you guys still in my car? Huh? Uh, it's going to be up to them. It's on private property, so. Yeah, that's the What kind of car is it? Hold on. You got a handicap blocker? No, there was like, I, I did, my aunt had one, but there was nowhere to park. Some of my car was like, so, just because there's nowhere to park, you're going to take a handicap spot where somebody that's going to need it? I know, that was wrong. I think I just had my car. Like I said, it, it's up to them. It's on private property. Are you guys still in the car? No. Unlikely, unless it's there for you know, several days. Thank you. But, um,. You are going to get a $250 citation for parking in a handicap spot as well, okay? okay. Handicap parking spots are not there for you to use if you just struggle to get parking. And this woman probably made a few disabled people's lives much more difficult because of her inconsiderate behavior. All she seems to care about is her car being towed, but at least she got a steep ticket for this. Um, the rest of the stuff that's in your car, the uh, brand new clothing and everything, what store did all that come from? I bought all that other stuff. No, a guy had his credit card and he bought it for me, I promise you. Do you have proof of that? He does, absolutely. So you bought it with somebody else's no, credit card? No, 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 he bought it for me with his credit card. Okay. Yeah. And I guess they have a couple of different instances with you stealing from the store, so... So yeah, and then he wants me to bring back everything. I think they're probably just going to press charges on all this. Sorry. Um, no. Good for a second, sorry. Go print up. He said, he said to bring everything back. Okay, I'll talk to him about it, but it seems like uh, they wanted to press charges, so. No, he told me to bring everything back. Well, we'll wait in the meantime. I'll wait until we go. Out you can do it again, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No rush, Kayla. Yeah. Of course she has another story about where the stuff in her car comes from, but the odds that she's just making this up too are incredibly high. The woman was lucky to have the option to bring the stuff back, but we're pretty sure this offer flew out the window when she returned without any items, only to steal again. Like if she just bring me that stuff back, I don't need Like I, well, I have more at the house, so I was going to bring it all together. Mm -hmm. Have you read her? Yeah. What did you steal yesterday? I, What's in the big brown bag? It's in there. I was going to bring it all back for him. What is it? What's in there? Uh, it was sunglasses. It was out of jeans. Sunglasses, pair of jeans. You're under arrest when I'm searching it. Um, um, clothes and some sunglasses. There's one. Just clothes and sunglasses? Yes. I think it's shot in your hair. Yeah. Hold on. The purse is ours too. And the purse? And the purse, yes. No. Oh, okay. And I was bringing all that. And there's a couple pair of shorts at home that I was going to bring back. So. At this point, no one believes a single word coming out of her mouth, and her promises of bringing even more stuff back are useless. On this day alone, her stolen merchandise totaled up to $290. So while her shoplifting considered, she was really doing some damage to the store. A couple weeks ago, when she, we attempted to stop her, she dumped it at the door, and we got all of that back. That's much of stuff. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Is another mission here? So I had a felony here in this meeting. I don't know if we have any more. I just want to see if they have felony. I'm still waiting for them to call me. If it's my second one, it'll be a third. Yeah, third. Yeah, we should have one. You need two convictions, and then your third one's a felony. Wouldn't you ever have them help So here's the deal with them want to press charges from a couple weeks ago. Also, you don't meet criteria for APAD at all. So. So they do want to press charges? Yep. For that? Our suspicions are confirmed when the cop tells the woman that she in fact does not qualify for any relief programs. And it seems like she's gonna have to face the full extent of the law like the grown adult she is. So I'm gonna have a felony in this new We don't know yet. The more you ask, the more, like, I will tell you that you've asked like seven times now. It doesn't, the answer's not gonna change until I get a phone call. You can keep asking, but I don't know the definitive answer. But there's just no point in you So if it's a misdemeanor, I will go to jail. I don't know. I would very much like to take you to jail, but I got to see if you qualify. Do you admit responsibility and confess to your crime today? 
Um, should I have a lawyer before I say anything like that? Sure. Um, I'm going to wait for my lawyer. Okay, there's your answer. You don't qualify. You're going to jail. Oh, well, I don't know what to say. All I know is my lawyer told me don't say anything. It seems a tad late to want to ask for a lawyer now, since the woman's already admitted to a world of incriminating things, and a lawyer probably won't be of much help anymore. At this point, you should just square up and take what's coming to you, and maybe this whole thing will actually end up teaching her a lesson. The woman was charged with petty theft and parking in a handicap spot. Now let's take a look at another shoplifter at the Flagler County Target when a young man tried walking out the doors with an expensive piece of equipment all in broad daylight. Thankfully, the cops are there to apprehend him right when he leaves the store. Let's get right into this case. Out the door. Come on. Stop right there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Your hand. Pass, right this way. T24 flag. I got one secured. You got any weapons on you? I got a knife right here. A knife where? Right in the front pocket. All right. Don't reach for anything. Don't. No, I won't. My fiance come here. My son. Tell T24. My fiance come here. Hold on. I've got 223 with me. Delta 223. My radio is not working, can you? The man is quickly placed in handcuffs and doesn't put up too much of a fight, although he does continually try and ask if his fiance can come and get his stuff. The cops are definitely not gonna be dumb enough to let the stolen merchandise get carried away this easily. So his attempt to mislead the cops has massively failed. Besides the knife, anything else on you? Stand up, face the wall. Will you check that side door? Yeah, bro. Nothing tucked up in here? In the back room of Target, the cops were able to fully search the man to determine that he didn't have any other stolen items. At least the man was honest about the weapon that was in his pocket, but this inevitably makes the cops a bit more cautious when dealing with him. Yeah, we got somebody coming over here to take care of it. Okay. Y'all about to get out of here? Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I'll go to get the trespass started. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Okay. Bro, what's your phone number? Yeah. She said, are you done? Are you okay? Let me know if you're okay or just being a You want me to go talk to her? Yeah. Yep. What's her name? Jeline. Jeline. While the cops were confirming whether the store would press charges for the shoplifting, the man's phone suddenly started blowing up with texts from none other than his fiance, who at this point was still blissfully unaware of what was going on. Hello. Hi, are you Jeline? Yeah. Hey, Brett's going to jail. What the f for what? For stealing. Oh, what are you doing? What are you trying to steal? A nine hundred dollar projector. Are you f kidding me? Like no, ma'am. And I don't know, ma'am. Like I said. Delta Hi. I don't know, ma'am. That they were watching on cameras, and we got them coming out. With the projector. Out of the doors with the projector. I'm sorry. Say that again. Out of the doors with the projector. Yep. And then he ran back inside when we walked up on him. So he's in the office right now. I know. I'm sorry to. I'm not here. Why you be upsetting me like this? Is that why you sent me out here? Because I... Oh, yeah, I mean, he, well, he's currently in the office right now in handcuffs, so that's why I came out here to talk to you. Thank you. So I didn't want you to just be no, sitting out here. No, it's okay. Um, I, I have really high blood pressure right now. I'm like, do a... I'm going to kill him. I'm going to f***ing kill him. The woman is immediately fuming at her stupid boyfriend trying to shoplift a projector that has a $1,000 price tag. Not only is she furious at him, but the whole ordeal is upsetting her so much that her blood pressure spikes. We can only assume that this wasn't the first time that the man majorly upset the poor woman. Why is he doing this? I, ma'am, I, I, I can, couldn't tell you. You have money. What the f is wrong with you? You have money. I don't know. I can tell you that they were watching on the camera. He did his thing and went around, came back in and tried to take it. 
uh, why he's why he's currently where he's at right now. I honestly, man, the jail sets that we we don't set that. I mean, it, 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 unfortunately, it's felony amount of uh, merchandise to try to steal, so it's gonna be probably a couple thousand. Yeah, but then if you go through a bondsman, it's ten percent and all that. And, but if you if you call the jail and just let them know, hey, this guy's coming in, uh, they should have everything pulled up and they can tell you what his bond's gonna be. According to the woman, they had no reason to steal either, since they weren't broke. But it seems like the man's childish desires got the best of him. And now his fiance was left to clean up the mess, deal with the jail, and pay a bond. Oh man, we sure hope he makes it up to her somehow. It's the Flower County Sheriff's Office. Non-emergency number. Because obviously 911's the emergency one. 386-313-4911. We'll go to our it'll go to our dispatch. All you have to do is say, hey, can you please transfer me to the jail? They'll transfer you over there, and then the jail will answer, and you say, hello, you know, I'm, my name's so-and-so, I'm calling on behalf of Brett, um, and then they should have his information and all that. Just say, hey, how do I get through, how do I get to a bondsman? They're, they, can, they can give you the number because they have everything at the jail on there to, to fill out and do what they need, need to do. The cop is nice enough to take some time out of his day to explain to the woman exactly how the process works, even giving her the police office number and giving her tips on precisely what she needs to do. This is, of course, if she's willing to bail him out of jail. Of course, the other possibility is that she was in on it the whole time and is just acting dumb. What do you think? I mean, like I said, we're gonna be, we're over in that building over there. Um, it looks like the night shift guy just got here. Um, do you have any questions or anything else that you need? I'm gonna go ahead and go home because she's hungry. Yeah, no, go go do your thing. Go go take care of yourself. Yeah, go go take care of yourself. We're gonna go get this all taken care of, okay? If you have any questions, call that call that yeah, number. Let them know let them know what's going on. And if you have any questions about this, call in and tell them and they can pass you through to the deputy that, that's taking over, okay? All right. The woman decides that she's not going to sit and wait for him. Instead, she'll go home and take care of herself while the fiancé is being processed. Good for her. This arrest ends on a pretty undramatic note, but we're pretty sure this man received more than an earful when he got home. The man was charged with shoplifting and was most likely trespassed from Target. It seems like these days shoplifting has become an epidemic and some stores see more thefts every day than they're able to keep track of. The Bellingham Target is definitely one of these unfortunate stores. Saying that the cops have their hands full is a real understatement. This next officer was stationed in front of the Target when she suddenly had a string of back-to-back -back shoplifters and one very strange encounter. Hey, you need to stop. Did he steal that? Hey, Bellingham, please, you're not free to leave. You need to stop. Do you understand me? You're being audio and music for you need to stop. Are you gonna run? I have one taken off from me, headed towards Eliza from Target PC for theft. And obstructing as well. He was advised he's not free to leave native male wearing gray sweatshirt, jeans. The first shoplifter gets cornered in the parking lot, but instead of owning up to what he did, he ditches his fully loaded shopping cart and makes a run for it. Being the only officer there at that point, the cop decided to not chase after him, but at least he didn't get away with all the merchandise. Uh, oh, his personal bag's there too. Oh, perfect. Do you need this at all, or could we run like a training receipt on it? Training receipt would be perfect. This is his bag? Uh, it might have been like a Target bag he started to use. It looks pretty new, honestly. Okay, um, since it's abandoned prop, we don't know if it's Target's or someone else's. I will, um, go through it and see if there's an ID in there. Cool. So I'll take oh, yes. Thank you so much. That's yep. like so fulfilling to see. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very fulfilling. With all the unpleasant things cops have to deal with on a daily basis, it must be nice to hear some positive feedback every once in a while. Since the criminal was stupid enough to leave his personal bag behind, the cop hopes there'll be some identifying information in there. Before too long, the cop would be dragged into yet another case of a fleeing shoplifter. Perfect, I'll get that one too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we actually arrested a gal today that had been hitting Target from like 4 to 6 p.m. She's stolen upwards of $40,000 in a month. 
Yeah, so. Every time I come in and then I talk to the sister that says, I'm from California, so people get f***ing tapped about their phones to the ground. Yeah. And I would have done like, that, but I'm like, meh, I'm just going to, I don't have, there's no other officers right now available, yeah. so I was like, okay, I'm, he left his backpack, so I'm hoping there's something in there that I DM, but. You can save all day. There is <laughs> Negative, I last saw him running towards the trailer park. Uh, but yeah, it's just ridiculous. So I just hang out here at close the time because they get like four to five walkouts every 10 minutes. So The cop's quick exchange with a concerned citizen gives us a lot more clarity on how bad the shoplifting problems actually are here. After learning about another shoplifter from him, the cop shares a bit of info on another suspect who hits target daily and is made off with an absolutely ridiculous sum of stolen merchandise. I might have another person walking out. Hey, Bellia, please, you're not free to leave. You're not free to leave. You what? do not pay for these. Stop. What? You're being detained. You're not free to leave. Why are you detained? Because, turn around. I'm putting, you in, I'm putting you in handcuffs. Do not about? fight. Nope, do not fight. Why do I need to for? For theft. I said do not fight. Put your hand behind your back. I might have a female detained. Do you have any weapons on you? No. The second suspect tries to ignore the cop at first, but she doesn't get far. The woman does put up a bit of resistance when the cop tries to detain her, but this is short-lived, and before she knows it, she's placed in handcuffs and is in for some real legal trouble. Do you understand these rights I've explained to you? Yes. Having these in mind, are you okay asking questions, answering questions? Okay. I'm sure my partner has some. What's your name? Sure. Cherie, do you have ID on you anywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to start adding that up or have them bring it back to them. Okay, well, we'll decipher what's theirs and what's not. Where's the rest of it from? Uh, rest of it's from Yes. Did you get it from a different store? Uh -huh. The suspect was immediately cooperative with the cops, so at least that's one shoplifter who didn't get away. But we can't help but wonder if there's a bigger scheme behind all these shoplifters, since this series of events can't be mere coincidence, right? Who were you with that other guy that took off from me? No. Another native male? Nothing. You came in here by yourself? Yeah, I came in here by myself. Not with any other male? Nobody else. Nobody. Okay. Okay. Needle? No, she didn't Yeah. It's always sad to see people addicted to drugs in this kind of state. The police officer found needles in the woman's pockets, which gives us more insight into why this shoplifter ended up delving into a life of crime. Um, are you guys still adding up hers? Uh, did you do the train uh, room? Right now. Awesome. Yeah. Is it over? We also have another regular that was in my wild table as I was walking up. Here. Is he? He's still she. she? Perfect. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just wait out, and then you guys can keep doing what you've been doing. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I was waiting him know that if we can just get a case number. Yeah, I'm gonna have two separate ones for that guy that took off on me and then this gal and I'll, um, you want a lifetime trespass for her? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, we'll take the trespass for her. Yeah. Um, case number, so my a APS ETL can contact you yep. guys. And yeah, it'll be all on the trespass form for you. And cool. then um, I'm gonna turn off my mic. So if she walks out, just we're gonna be at this corner with this gal and then okay. Yeah. Okay. we will. Cool. Yeah. After convening with the store employees, the cop catches wind of yet another possible shoplifter in the store. And while that unfolds, the officer continues the process of dealing with the woman shoplifter who's still detained outside the store. I literally, I, there was, I'm pretty like, sure there was- call up and cover yourself. Like, <laughs> come on now. I'm pretty sure there was one when I first <laughs> rolled up. And so I went and asked employees, I'm like, hey, did you guys just have a walk out of that female over there? And they're like, I don't know, we've had so many in the last, I don't even know when. And then I was like, okay, I'm just be sitting out here. If you guys have walk outs, just weigh me down. And they're like, great. And then literally as I got in my car, this guy walks out with a full cart. I was like, did you get a cart? Here we go. Yeah. Okay. And he took off. So I was like, eh. Here's for this gal. 
Um, I haven't gone through the backpack yet, but it looks like a personal, has some mm -hmm. stuff in it. Um, and then, did you get any of the receipts yet for either cart? Um, I think I see one of them's done. Okay. The officers needed to get each other up to speed about what happened too, since this is definitely way too much for a single person to handle. The good news is that now there are quite a number of officers on the scene, and any shoplifter who tries their luck now would run right into the police. Um, he's going to follow her out if he sees merchandise in it. And, um, he's like, she's a regular of ours, so. Other gal, I don't know where, but it's a... Uh, black hair, darker skin tone, doesn't know what she's wearing, but has a teal bag. And... So not blonde with a baseball hat? No, that's someone else in there. Okay. Even the cops are having a bit of a hard time keeping track of everyone. And to be honest, so are we. So we can't blame them. What happened next caused some controversy, though. And then this um, officer here has some questions for you. Just stay in the car, okay? Serena? No. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. John. Okay. Hey, I'm Sergeant Johnson uh, with the police department. I'm the supervisor of Officer Turner and the other officers that are out here. Um, the reason why I'd like to talk to you is not necessarily what occurred as far as why you were being detained, the alleged theft or shoplift, uh, but what happened afterwards when the officer confronted you outside the doors. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, what, uh, what I was notified by the officer was that there was what we refer to as a use of force. Mm -hmm. um, so before I ask any questions, um, I understand that the. Use of her force or my force? Pardon me? Use of her force. Use of, or my use of her force yeah, uh, her against force. you. Yeah. Uh, but before I ask you any questions, I just want to clarify you were read Miranda rights by another officer. Do you recall that? Yeah, after okay. the fact. After yeah. the fact, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, after you're already handcuffed and everything. The sergeant is there to make sure all the cops act in a professional way and that they don't get overwhelmed with the sheer number of criminals running rampant. And he hopes that his interview with the female suspect would shed some light on the entire situation. Do you, do you mind telling me what uh, your version of events as far as what, uh, what, what happened? I guess, I guess, sorry, let me interrupt you again. First of all, I just want to establish, are you injured at all or need any medical attention? No. Okay. I couldn't hear you. No. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. All right, now go ahead. Yeah, just shock me. I'm having trouble hearing you. This is a dry. Can you speak up? I have a really hard, hard time hearing you. I'm not going to just be blind. I just said I'm not to. You just said what? Okay. Okay. What? What? Did you did, did you feel any pain from anywhere on your body? Grab your arms. Yeah. Okay. I guess the cart. Yeah. Or I guess the wall. Yeah, towards the cart. Okay. Okay. But you didn't scratch yourself or anything like that. Okay. All right. Um, did you hear the officer tell you to stop? No, not really. Some people might think that the suspect is getting special treatment, as this sounds almost like a customer feedback survey entitled, How Was Your Arrest Today? While shoplifters should not be able to complain about being arrested and detained if they resist, we guess the cops were just trying to ensure that everyone was treated fairly. Or maybe he was trying to see if the woman would make up a fake story about the officer. Wearing all dark clothing, it was, there was a bunch of walking into the, the camp. I mean, Miranda's trailer, as I yeah. got here, but you should have seen it when they saw it the other day. They Whose have, trailer? Miranda Bonds. So oh. They have brand new flooring. They have every plant you can imagine from Home Depot. It looks yeah. like Home Depot's nursery. They took like, their whole garden center and it, sold it. They put it all over the trailer. They have, like, string light. It's, like, it, it's cute. Yeah. She and decorated they, it nicely with all the stuff. Wow. Like, so prove it's all stolen. Like, stuff. like, boxes and boxes. But that's where I think it's going to get fenced. I don't know if she's dealing so, or... What? But holy crap, she has lots of friends that bring her. So many friends. Okay, so this is the stuff that's not ours. Okay. And then we are just about done with the training receipt. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. And then my other phone is doing a whack to see if the other oh, ladies still in here. Is there anybody in the bathroom still that we know of? No. With the lady that was in there came out. It's insane to think that some people literally transform their entire home or place of residence with stolen goods. And while the cops clearly know that this woman in the trailer park is fixing herself up with stolen merchandise, they have no concrete proof. And like the first shoplifter, some of these criminals just slip through the hands of the law on technicalities. 
Okay, Sharina, so um, you are going to be going to jail because it's a felony level. Why? How does it felony me? It was 900 and something dollars. Was. Your cart. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. So I no, need it wasn't. Just sit back. My cart was not $900. Sit I back. I know it wasn't. I'm going to go get a photo. Get her out to take a picture. Oh, okay. Let me get a photo really quick. All right. Do any of these shoplifters even bother to tally a rough total of their merchandise before leaving the store? It seems not, because the woman seemed flabbergasted that her stuff was worth $900, which is clearly over the felony amount. Either way, she was about to be transported to jail. But just as the cop thinks that the drama must be over, another character approaches her. Um, you guys may or may not be able to help me. Uh, with so earlier I uh, I was getting high in the bathroom here and I passed out or whatever and uh, I guess they said they narcan me or something but I had gotten up and just left because I didn't know I'll be honest with you I do see once what's your name Richard Richard Garza and I, didn't, I didn't know if I was um, going to get arrested or what okay so I just left forever but I would like to be able to get my like cell phone and Oof. Um, whatever else they, they said that they probably turned it over to you guys maybe. I'm not sure they say for sure. The person I, talk to, the person I am person. not sure. I'm dealing with another thing right now. Okay. Um, do you mind looking to see if he was contacted here? Yeah, he said he OD'd in the bathroom I and they narcanned him and then he left. Because I, I was scared I was going to Well, if you someone. left without giving a good name, someone I, might have... I might have, though. I don't okay, but I'm just saying that we might have it impounded under your name, like in a property found type deal, but... Richard Garza? Yeah. What's your birthday, Richard? A young guy approaches the cops, asking for his phone that he lost while using substances in the Target bathroom earlier. And the shameless audacity is quite insane. It's likely the man is under the influence of something again while talking to the cops. Regardless, the cops go ahead and help him. I'm gonna have to take a photo of you, okay? You just step out. Just one full body? Yeah, front and back. Okay, turn around. Other, sorry, face the vehicle. Okay. You can get back in. With the final part of the detainment process being over, the woman could finally be transported to the jail, and whatever else would unfold at this hotspot target would have to be for the officers who stayed behind to worry about. The suspect was arrested for theft in the second degree and obstruction of a law enforcement officer. These crazy shoplifters definitely made sure that there's never a dull moment for target employees, and also for the cops patrolling nearby. Be sure to stay with us for our next Crazy Cop Countdowns.